business. Leave something behind. Leave something behind for your future generations. Legacy. Leave something behind. You might have a cure for cancer, man. You might have a cure for cancer. You might have a cure for AIDS. But if you don't, if you don't follow through and do what you're supposed to do, you're gonna take that cure right there to the cemetery, man. Nobody ever know. Next slide, please. Now, I want to bring this to the uh, do y'all y'all do this already? Yeah. Yes. Boom. Hey, right, I'm gonna tell you something. Let me tell you something. I'm gonna testify to this. This works. This works. <laughs> my dream board. I did my dream board back in May. And one of the things that I had on there was public speaking. And then when Miss Miss Williams blessed me with the grace to be able to come here. Every time I reached one of those milestones, I wrote down on that board, today's day, 10 4 13. It took me two months for this to happen. <coughs> if you don't see it, you won't act on it. If you don't act on it, you won't do it. If you don't do it, you're being lazy. If you're being lazy, you ain't gonna make nothing of your life, you ain't gonna make no money, you ain't gonna make no steps. This right here, nothing better than taking ideas that's in your head your dreams, your thoughts, your goals, and you put it on paper and put it by your bed. Mine sits right on the side of the bed. Man. Every time I wake up in the morning, it's the first thing I look at. I sit there and I meditate on it because your brain will react to what needs to be done. Oh, okay, I need to get this done. I need to get that done. I need to get that done. I need to get this done. You will start to react. Unconsciously, you will start to react. Do that dream board, y'all. I'm telling you, it works. There ain't no voodoo. There ain't no magic, okay? It's just self-motivation, okay? Next slide. <laughs> Next, Next slide. slide. Next slide. And finally, finally, <gasps> finally, success doesn't always equate to riches. It's mostly setting goals and meeting the mark. The money will come. The money comes. It'll happen. It'll happen. But you got to put the work in. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do it, man. You know, people tell me, no, eat it like a bite, man. That's my fuel. Please tell me, no, so I can show you. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You got to flip the script and get angry about not being successful, but use it in a, in a positive way. Get a log book. Write down your dreams and goals, man. I'm going to tell you something, man. Honestly, I should have been, been dead in jail, dead or in jail, many, many years ago. It's a whole nother story that I that I haven't told y'all, but it's not related to this. But I'm gonna tell you, I can change, y'all can change. You can push past tomorrow. You can do whatever you want to do. Okay. <laughs> now, Miss Miss Williams and Jai Port been gracious enough to make sure that y'all get each one of these get a book. I need something to do. I'm taking this. I want to thank y'all for being attentive. I'm going to open the floor up. Do we got a few minutes to answer some questions? Open the floor up for some questions. Anything you want to ask me? Young lady. Stand. Looking at me? Yes, yeah, stand up. Stand up and ask a question. Reject your voice, please. Does the same thing goes for, like, the movie industry? Like, I don't want to be on film myself, but I want to write scripts. That's good. But see, I'm a writer. I'm a writer. Pursue your dream. Pursue your dream. Well, it's a such thing, like I was telling Miss Williams earlier. I would have been here yesterday. Well, you got to see I would have been here yesterday, but I had to work. I still have a nine to five. This is my passion until it becomes my job. When it, come, when it becomes my job, then that's my job. If I end up doing like all 125 job course, you know, which I would mind, hopefully you got to put a good word in for me, then that'll be my job. <laughs> that'll be my job at that point. But you have to pace yourself, okay? And you have to be realistic about it. Any other questions? What you do? I still do personal security, uh, private I investigation. No, well, cor corporate security. I don't do the. I don't work with the rappers. Let me let me say oh, this real quick. I stopped working with rappers. I got tired of being shot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's a, that's a real quick retirement plan. So, uh, you know, most of the stuff I do now, I work with actresses, uh, Kevin Hart, CEOs. Yeah. You never work with Kevin Hart. Uh, you, know, you, know, you know, personal, you know, personal VIPs. Like they go order you. Hmm? They gonna order you? Like they, like they call you like, you need a request? You request? Yeah. I don't know too much about it. I yeah. thought it was funny. 
Uh, let me let me get a big black dude. Yeah, when you, when extra you have, cheese when you have on a pretty good, you said a big black dude. <laughs> <laughs> extra cheese on it. Yeah, yeah, hey, hey, hey whatever works, man. This is this is the thing. When you're good, they request you. But it works the same way in reverse. If you're bad, they're black boy. Yeah, um, how do you feel about the level of success that you've reached as compared to what your dreams were originally? where you thought you would be right now at age 20. You know what, man? And that's the second time I've heard that question. That's a good question. I am very happy. I am very happy. Um, the music business, I kind of just fell into it, man. I wasn't passionate about it. The people around me were passionate about it, so I stayed into it because they were passionate. You know, but this right here, man, oh, man, I love this, man. I love this. When you find that thing that you're passionate about, man, it, it's nothing like it. Be able to write. We got any writers in the room? Hey, if you're a writer, write. You got to write something every day. Start with a journal. Hey, the great thing about writing. That's good. Hey, the great thing about writing. You are in control of your writing world. You can write whatever you want in that book, in that journal. You are the creator. Nobody can alter that. Just remember that, man. That's power, man. Creativity is power. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. So you work with music, right? Why would you like Joe? Who? Mike Joe? Mike Joe? I never worked with Mike Joe. Oh, the dude in Houston, and he was in Detroit. You know what? I don't really know much about Mike Jones, man. I haven't really dealt with too many Texas guys. Uh, He's from Detroit. Uh, what's, what's the tall dude with the braids? Uh, 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 I did personal work for him. But you got to understand, these relationships... He don't got a braids no more. He got fake. Only be like maybe body. one or two days a week tops. So you don't really get a chance <laughs> real to question. know some of these guys, whereas when I have them as a How private when client, died? when they directed my client, I'm with them all day. True, true. But it's pretty much all the same, man. These guys, <laughs> they, you know, y'all got to understand something. Rappers, actors, and singers are people first. Right. Okay? They got the same problems we do. In right. fact, their problems are bigger and worse because they got more money, they got more problems. They got more baby mamas, they got more taxes, they got more bills. I think you said a lot of, a lot of them tell you they would rather <laughs> be an ordinary person again than be in that limelight. But they are already ordinary. No, actually they're not. They, they're extraordinary as an artist. They're extraordinary people as an artist, but they want to flip the switch. Like, I'll go back to Eminem. Eminem never wanted to be as big as he is now. He never wanted to be that huge. He never wanted to be that huge. He always said, I never want to be bigger than Michael Jackson. I don't, I don't even want to be on the scale of Michael Jackson. Now he's bigger than uh, Elvis Presley, Michael Jackson, Lady Gaga. Let me tell you something. Listen. Don't Let me tell you something. Watch uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. this. I'm going to solve the debate. How many records did uh, well, uh, that question. Yeah. Yeah. Michael Jackson sold a lot of records. Yeah, but Eminem has sold 70 million records in the last 10 years. Mike has sold a lot of records. But I'm not going based off of record sales. It's what, what the masses like. And I'm telling you, this is not what I'm making up. Eminem is the biggest artist in the world. Now, I'm going to say this, Michael Jackson is the top selling gross artist, dead or alive. People go by based on, if I can go see you in concert, <coughs> they see Mike in concert, now he's say, you read old DVD, but you can't go see him in concert. So think about it like this, Michael Jackson is alive, right? It's two concerts, Eminem, Michael Jackson. Who do you think everybody wants to be? Michael. Mike. 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 That's a question. That's because he's alive. He would be alive. Cause you be alive. Oh, That's what the whole gross the part. Damn. You were saying period, like period. period. Yeah. Michael. You know, and you can't really say Mike, cause Elvis is up there, man. Crazy Elvis. Hey, okay, hey. You know what? That's that's what you need to hear. That's next. Next, right, bro. Right, right. Right. What's the new Monopoly song? Oh, thing? My name is Eminem. 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 Nah, don't worry about that. Let me let me say this, and then I'm gonna lead us along. Do your research. Do not go by. YouTube is not going to explain to you what the Illuminati is. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of that stuff is doctor. It's fake. Yep. It's uh, it's just made up. Edit. It's edited to make people get scared. You know, 
Exactly. You got to go get some books, man. You got to go to the library. Yep. Not Google, go to the library. You know that place where they have the books all in town? Yeah, you got to go to the road. Downtown. Yo, man. I was going to ask you, do you believe in Jesus Christ? Oh, man. Oh, yeah, most definitely. All day long, man. I must have prayed about 10 times before I got here today. Let me tell you something. I don't want to turn this into a biblical thing or nothing like that because everybody has their own opinion of religion. But believe if you if you believe in God, then do it wholeheartedly, and then believe in yourself. Okay, and this and be true to that. Be true to that, young man. Oh, I was just saying. So basically, you're saying like those rappers, they don't really be making like all the million dollars like people say they do. For real. They make money, but they have to get to a certain point, man. Uh, like the last big paid rappers is like Jay-Z. like Jeezy, Jay Z, yeah. uh, Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne, Fifty Cent, Fifty Cent. Yeah. 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 But you got guys. But you gotta understand, those are the last. It's gonna be one or two con- conglomerate CEOs that are not that used to be rappers. But the industry is not really letting that happen. And what they do it, they gonna have to do it on their own. Yep. Because they're they're shutting that down, man. Because when you got if you got this young lady right here and she's an MC and she's making millions and millions and millions of dollars. Rapper. And this company over here, this mega company over here is not getting a piece of that. That's a problem. Yep. That's a problem. That's why they're creating those 360 deals. So the more money you make, the more money they take. Yep. One more thing. Um, yeah. If you like want to be a beat producer, because I actually want to make beats. I used to make beats. Like, do you think, like, that would be a higher chance of me making and getting money rather than, like, writing songs and stuff like that? I would say so. Writers writers and producers have a better chance of getting in the industry than a rapper. Everybody wants to rap. Everybody wants to sing. I'm going to take a couple more questions. Uh, let me get the person in the back right here. Um, now, about the whole nation thing, was this in the industry or was it, like, did they have rap in the ring? I'm sorry. About people being in the basics. Mason. 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 M
Y'all want to ask me some questions yeah. after we're done with that? Yeah. Miss Williams, don't mind. Yeah. Were you around when Proof died? Yeah. Were, you, were you around when Proof died? Yeah. Wait, that was my man. So, so how'd you feel? There when it happened, but. Yeah. So, yeah, like, it was it effective? Right. So, did Big Cass let him deal with Tupac getting shot? Thank oh. you. Uh,